Right now on Fox 43 News at 5, we continue following breaking news out of Franklin County. A chemical leak leading to this cloud of smoke seen billowing for miles. Thanks for joining us for Fox 43 News. I'm Marshall Keeley. The leak sent at least 17 people to the hospital with chemical exposure injuries. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz is live in Letterkenny Township with what we know at this hour. Marshall, good evening. Yeah, we are here at the Alex C. Ferguson Company, also known as AFCO. This is where that asset leak happened around 930 this morning, and it's just within the last half hour that emergency crews have left the scene, and we've been able to get a little bit closer to the facility. Now, we know AFCO is a company that makes industrial cleaners, which are used in the food service injury. Now, we're told that two people were taken, to, or excuse me, were admitted to the ICU at Wellspan Chambersburg. Eight more have been admitted for observation and others are still being evaluated. Now, this leak forced both the neighboring Franklin County Prison and Letterkenny Army Depot to shelter in place. We're told the leak was stopped around 1245 this afternoon and an AFCO spokesperson who I spoke with over the phone would not say what exactly caused it. And like I said, crews again wrapping up here in the last half hour. But we did learn a little bit about what they were doing earlier this afternoon. Leak is stopped, but they got to make sure that the other tanks are contained and there's no additional uh, leaks that are going to occur in the future. Um, DEP's on the scene, they're doing their investigation, and uh, the fire department is uh, just monitoring those other tanks. Now, there is no immediate threat to the public, according to those who we spoke with here on scene. There never really was. Those shelter, pla shelter in place orders were put in place again, more out of precaution. They were lifted around 1245 and OSHA is now investigating. Alyssa, you mentioned two people are in the ICU, so it sounds like those injuries are pretty serious. Yeah, Marshall. So we learned that what was leaked was a mixture of chemicals. It was nitric acid, phosphoric acid, water and dye. Basically what these employees were doing, they were trying to make something called pony acid. When I looked that up, it, we found a data safety sheet from the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection. They say it's something that can cause severe skin burns as well as eye damage. But again, we're still learning to hear what exact injuries were sustained in this incident. Marshall. All right, Alyssa, live in Leonard County Township tonight. Thank you.